Hi all, welcome to the session Playwrightium combining Playwright Java with Selenium Selenide for more powerful web application testing by Serhi Parit. So without further delay, over to you, Serhi. Thank you. Uh, we'll begin. Uh, so I want to thank uh, to uh, to this conference uh, because uh, it's it's a good chance to uh, to show myself and to show uh, what uh, I was uh, what I have done. Uh, and uh, yes, my uh, I will share some knowledge about my uh, own framework, about my not framework uh, testing library uh, based on uh, selenite or selenium and uh, uh, playwright. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, this is me. Uh, so I'm a test automation engineer with uh, thirteen more than thirteen years of experience. I began from the first uh, versions of Selenium, and uh, I was uh, I fell in love uh, at that time. Uh, so it, it was like a magic, you know, for me uh, that uh, everything is uh, is automated. Everything, uh, something is uh, clicking on some elements, and it can and it can work. Here you can uh, use my QR code to uh, uh, to. Uh, I, I'm very glad when someone will uh, connect to my network. So welcome. Uh, there you can see my uh, experience. Uh, it's almost a Java world. So I live, uh, I live in Java world and I like Selenium. I like uh, Selenite and I like, uh, <clears throat> now I like to play right also. So the uh, main idea of my uh, uh, of this webinar is to uh, share my knowledge about my product. Uh, it's called Playwrightium. Playwrightium. This is the combination of two words: Playwright and Selenium. The last part of Selenium, I mean, and it uh, it's called Playwrightium now. So uh, uh, why I uh, did it? Because I wanted to give uh, something more to Selenium people uh, to use different uh, to to combine different uh, tools in one place so i hope it will it will uh, it will be helpful for someone and someone will uh, will use my uh, solution for this okay the idea was to uh, that we have many tests written on selenium or selenite uh, and uh, 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 we have a uh, big various of uh, uh, code lines, and we don't uh, we don't we don't want to uh, really we don't want to uh, fix something or to change something, uh, and we want to migrate to other tool, for example, to Playwright in our case. So uh, and we need to run it. Uh, we don't need to rewrite it. Uh, but we need, uh, we still need to run it on uh, uh, some um, remote places. I mean, for example, Selenium Grid or Selenoid or Iracube Moon. Uh, and uh, uh, at that time, I thought that it would it will be a good feature to record video for uh, for our te uh, te test running. So uh, the idea is to uh, was to create uh, such solution. Um, and it will help, I think it will help uh, to make, to, to uh, give some flavor to tests, for example, and to uh, bring some new breath to our tests, for example. Okay, so the idea was, uh, the first idea was to rewrite all tests to playwright. It's a good idea when you have uh, not so big amount of tests, uh, uh, and not so big amount of uh, 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 of code in your testing framework. Uh, <clears throat> but when you have a, an existing framework, it's uh, very hard to uh, uh, to rewrite it, and it will take a big uh, amount of time to finish it in time. So uh, I decided not to do this really. Uh, then I decided uh, the the second uh, thought was to create my own selenite, uh, but using Playwright Insight. Uh, yes, uh, at first sight it was a great idea because uh, it has uh, it, the code and the uh, infrastructure of uh, uh, this uh, the selenite solution is great, 
but when I saw uh, the number of uh, methods that I should uh, implement, uh, I was afraid, really. But I like to experiment, and uh, I tried to do this. Uh, but uh, I understood that it will take a lot, a, a lot of time, and the maintenance of this uh, solution will be awful. So then I uh, remember some theory about the what is selenite, what is selenium, and what is playwright. <clears throat> So I decided uh, to implement the web driver interface. Uh, so I take web driver interface and uh, create my own implementation using Playwright Java inside. So let's uh, see some a little bit theory about all these uh, instruments. Selenium. Uh, this is a library for uh, uh, not for testing. Yes, but for uh, web uh, browser driving. So you can see that our test should uh, should exist with the, these th three items. I mean, web driver, uh, yeah, this is an implementation on uh, uh, different kind of programming languages. Driver itself, it's a binary. Uh, it, uh, it produces by uh, browser uh, vendor and browser itself. So these three parts should exist when we want to write uh, uh, tests uh, using Selenium. Uh, Selenite, this is a good solution uh, for quick to, to uh, for uh, writing tests quickly. So uh, Selenite, this is a uh, it combines uh, all good things uh, around the Selenium. So it builds on the top of Selenium. Uh, it uses a Selenium web driver uh, and it combines uh, many different tools like uh, browser or proxy to manipulate this uh, traffic, for example, uh, web driver manager, the earlier uh, earlier version uh, contained it, it, but now it's contains in web driver itself. Uh, and different uh, Selenite support classes to make our tests uh, to, to produce our test quickly. So the main uh, uh, the main idea for Selenite is uh, that Selenite is take care about the infrastructure. It take care about uh, uh, all uh, all about how to run tests, how, how to uh, parallel uh, how to run a browser, for example, and initialize the web driver uh, instance. Uh, how to uh, it take care about the pub, parallel uh, running and so on. So, uh, but it also uses web driver itself. I mean, uh, the driver itself, I mean, the uh, binary file and browser. Okay, so Playwright, this is the last in, uh, but not least, <laughs> yeah, in, our, in our list. Uh, this is other solution. Uh, it uses uh, 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 CDP protocol. Uh, to connect to browser and it uses uh, WebSocket connection to do this. So it doesn't have the uh, uh, such uh, such element as uh, driver itself. Uh, it was created by the group of uh, developers. Uh, and later, uh, Microsoft uh, began to investigate to this, and now it's uh, it's working under the uh, Microsoft. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> I don't want to uh, find the difference and pros and cons of any of these instruments. No, I want to show you how to combine these uh, three uh, these no, no, not three yes three instruments in one place. And uh, what I can get for this, uh, what I uh, what, what I can do with this, I mean. Okay, uh, so uh, my Playwrightium can do anything that uh, WebDriver can do, and even more. So uh, this is a combination of Selenium uh, uh, and Playwright, and it gives me uh, interesting things and uh, in in interesting um, opportunities. I said. So uh, I created the implementation of WebDriver. Uh, also, uh, it can do anything. 
it can do more, I think, as Selenium, but uh, I should tell you that Playwright, this is the testing tool. It's a testing library. Selenium is not a testing library. So I combined, I, I tried to use uh, one testing library in other, I mean, Playwright in Selenite. But uh, uh, I need to implement the uh, web driver, uh, web driver uh, to use it with Selenite. So I will show you in uh, in demo. Uh, it can do many things. Also, uh, play, playwright have uh, many uh, big amount. I think uh, the method to find uh, web elements. Uh, it calls get by something like this. It can, for example, it can uh, uh, find by uh, test ID, by alt, alt text, by uh, by role also, uh, and for example, by label and so on. So it's uh, more interesting to find uh, elements in different ways. Also, it has a great solution out of the box. It's a, a video recording of our tests. Uh, and uh, we can save this recording uh, to the place where our tests are running. So not uh, on uh, not on remotely some uh, on, on remote places, but where tests running, it's it's a good solution. Also, it have uh, out of the box dif different things. I mean, playwright uh, it can uh, manipulate with traffic and so on. Uh, so I tried to uh, I tried to use it uh, also. So, but uh, it has another uh, an other model uh, to work with. For example, uh, alert dialogues. Uh, it uses uh, events, so you can listen to event uh, when uh, some dialogue is appeared. So uh, this is the minus a little a little minus because uh, I'll show you in uh, in demo uh, that we should uh, do other stuff to uh, interact with uh, alert dialogues. So uh, what we should do to uh, add this, uh, this solution to our project? So uh, we have, so let's imagine we have a lot of tests written in Selenium or Selenite. So we should add this uh, uh, dependency to our project, uh, Marvin or Gradle, as you wish, uh, after the uh, the last version is 1.3, you can discover it on my uh, GitHub uh, pro project page. Then uh, we will use the Selenite in this test. So Selenite have a, a great uh, opportunity, great feature. This is a web driver provider. Uh, so you can easily uh, it, uh, implement the start of or uh, initialization of your driver, not standard, uh, but uh, some specific driver. So in my case, uh, this is a playwright on driver uh, with his own options. So I uh, can uh, uh, initialize it here and use it in Selenium uh, Selenite uh, Selenite tests. Uh, as you can see, we can use this uh, solution. I mean, uh, uh, we can see this implementation here. We should set up the configuration uh, dot browser uh, uh, property. Uh, it takes uh, some standard uh, param parameters, uh, values, sorry. Uh, I mean, Chrome, for example, Firefox, Edge, Safari, and so on. But uh, it also can uh, use the uh, name of class that will initialize our driver. Uh, the solution is good because uh, then we shouldn't care about the closing this driver, for example, or closing the session of our uh, web, web, web driver. Uh, Selenite will do it for us. Uh, but uh, ah, and then we can write our tests as a in a regular uh, Selenite. Uh, uh, Selenite syntax. It's a regular test, but don't forget about uh, other dialogues. I will show you later in my presentation. Okay, so let's do the demo. Let's go here. 
I hope you all see uh, my. At first, uh, I will show you. Uh, I will show you the selenium tests. I use the Internet Heroku app. I'll show you it. This is a playground uh, to uh, in, to prove your or prove your skills in test automation. There are a lot of the, uh, I use it uh, because it's very simple to use uh, and uh, it's not so uh, how is it too hard. It's not so hard to uh, play around this. So it, it it have all standard elements. I mean, for example, basic AUS, you know about that. Some uh, so this is the sometimes it's a headache for uh, test automation engineers. Uh, also, uh, it has some um, some playground for a drag and drop, for example, disappearing elements. It's uh, dynamic, some dynamic features, uh, drop down ch um, checkboxes, uh, uh, some inputs, buttons, and so on. So I can play around this to uh, to make some tests and to show you how it works. Uh, okay, so we have uh, here 12 tests. It uh, cover the, maybe the most, most of features, most of elements that we can cover with it. <clears throat> as, I, uh, as I said to you about selenite, that selenite uh, using selenite uh, we don't care we don't do not care about the infrastructure this method will initialize our uh, browser and uh, will uh, open uh, the link uh, url where we want to go to go so uh, and uh, the main uh, idea is to uh, manipulate not with driver we forgot. We forget about the driver. We manipulate with uh, web elements only, uh, and but uh, all about web, web driver uh, work. Um, uh, I mean, uh, Selenite take uh, uh, take care about that, and we don't care about about the driver itself. So as you can see, uh, this is a, a remove element, some check boxes. We play around that drag and drop. Uh, then drop down dynamic controls it's about uh, we click somewhere and some elements should appear uh, <clears throat> um, so we, we need to wait and we need to uh, wait till uh, some loading element uh, will disappear for example okay file upload and download uh, this is a not trivial uh, task for uh, selenium i mean uh, but uh, Selenite have a good solution uh, for for this, and it controls uh, the download uh, file downloading. Uh, so this is one feature, great feature of this uh, uh, test testing library. So you can download it, and uh, uh, Selenite will take care about the, the downloads and will give you a reference to a file uh, which was downloaded uh, recently. Login, this is also only about uh, some login, uh, play around some inputs, for example, and uh, play around uh, some buttons. Uh, then switch to, to the frames. Uh, then hover, I mean, move to element. Uh, it also have the uh, solution for this hover method. It's great. And uh, play around JavaScript. Uh, play around uh, alerts. It have a lot of methods to play around this and windows. So uh, all uh, I mean new tab open uh, and so on. So uh, as you can see, we cover mostly uh, all general situations that we can cover. Okay, let's uh, run it. Okay, by default, uh, the Chrome browser should start, uh, and we should see that uh, all tests will uh, will run. So you can see that everything is okay. Uh, Playwright, uh, by its nature, it's another uh, tool for UI testing, and they uh, 
don't use uh, browsers itself. They use uh, engines with a, a minim minimalistic UI for this. So we can, now we can see that everything is okay and our tests are okay. Uh, let, let, let's switch to another uh, class. This is the copy of Selenite test. As you can see, I uh, didn't change anything. Just in one place, I changed uh, the work with uh, uh, alert dialogues. So uh, uh, in Selenium, we just click some uh, do some stuff and when uh, alert alert dialog uh, appears uh, on uh, on the screen we just switch to uh, switch context to that alert, uh, alert do some stuff close it and uh, uh, continue working with uh, the main floor of, of the test but in uh, playwright it's another uh, this is another solution so we need to uh, uh, move or we need to uh, uh, listen to the uh, to this event I mean when uh, alert um, appears on the on, on, on our screen and then uh, um, use some code to do some stuff with this when uh, event uh, invoked so we uh, so the idea is to uh, uh, describe uh, all steps with alert, and after that, uh, click some uh, click some element, for example, or navigate somewhere, uh, and uh, and and do after after this. So uh, the first step is to describe what we want to do with uh, uh, alert and other. Uh, uh, and after that, only click or invoke this uh, uh, this this dialog. Okay, so I created, as I told you, I created some uh, uh, provider for this. We use we should use only three uh, values. I mean, Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. Uh, let's make it interesting and let's uh, run it with webkit webkit as you know this is the engine for safari browser so we can uh, uh, run tests uh, with safari uh, against safari on for example windows uh, machine i have windows machine now uh, okay so we run this on uh, webkit now and we will uh, record the video of test running uh, we will record video to the video uh, uh, folder and uh, let's return here and as you can see we can we just uh, initialize this configuration and run these tests uh, the playwright, we, uh, this is the solution out of the box, so it will uh, download all needed uh, tools, all needed libraries, if you don't have, for example, and uh, it, it will run it on your, uh, on your machine or remotely, for example. But uh, uh, this is the question. Uh, not only, no, 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 uh, this is the question. So uh, the main advantages for uh, advantage for using playwriting instead of vanilla selenite uh, is uh, that we have a record uh, recording tool, right? No, not exactly. Recording tool is uh, one of the feature uh, because uh, for uh, now, for example, uh, I'm running tests on uh, WebKit and it's a good solution um, for, 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 for anyone. We are, can use it, for example, on uh, uh, Linux and so on. Uh, and uh, uh, this is out of the box. So also I can uh, record, for example, har file to uh, understand what, what is happening with my traffic. Uh, also, uh, I, <clears throat> uh, I can emulate uh, some devices. For example, if I want to run tests on uh, uh, Chrome for mobile, I can emulate it easily uh, with, uh, with this solution. Uh, 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 and it will it will run uh, as 
mobile browser and uh, to, to check responsive responsive design for example so uh, the uh, uh, what what we have we have a good uh, approach uh, uh, we have a good solution uh, not to uh, uh, learn some some new instrument not to learn some new framework we just use our regular uh, tests on selenite but uh, we use uh, other approach to run it so uh, you don't need to learn something new you just need to learn uh, to to understand how your uh, tests are working and you use um, selenite for this and it's okay all others, uh, all other stuff. I will uh, my, my playwriting will do uh, will, will do for you. So this is the idea to give more uh, interesting uh, things to uh, to the users. This is the, that was idea uh, the idea. And uh, developers say that uh, uh, this solution less flocking. Okay, so. Uh, uh, Let's uh, play around other uh, other solutions. So I told you about that we can run it on, uh, for example, Selenoid. <clears throat> but uh, the implementation of Playwright uh, is about uh, that we can run only for uh, it's against the Chrome. Only. Uh, I don't know why, but Firefox and uh, WebKit uh, doesn't support this. Maybe because of CDP, uh, CDP protocol <clears throat> version. So uh, to run it uh, on uh, Selenoid, for example, we need to run uh, Selenoid first. So I run it for you here. <clears throat> this is Selenoid solution. It's a Docker. For, uh, it's running in Docker. So uh, now I try to uh, run it with Chrome. Uh, so what I need to do is to say that I will not use the WebSocket connection. Uh, I also will record some videos not using Selenoid. I will record with uh, my Playwright tune. Uh, also, uh, uh, this is the... Uh, one line of code which uh, is uh, initializing the uh, test on Selenoid to, to run Selenoid. So uh, let's uh, run it. Go here. I use another browser, uh, another web, web, web driver provider for this, and let's run it here. Yes, all syntax would be uh, of uh, uh, Selenium Selenite. Yes, you don't need to ch uh, change anything or almost don't need to change anything. Uh, you need just to uh, check that uh, you work, uh, you work uh, how it works with uh, other dialects, but it not. Uh, but uh, I think it's uh, not a good, uh, a, a, a big, a big deal to understand where it is. Okay, so. Yes, now it's initializing. Uh, so we have a session. Now it run, but uh, I didn't found the solution for VNC uh, session. Uh, we cannot see the what is happening there, but it's... Yes, uh, it will frequently update it if, if needed. So I'm working on this. Uh, I always try to update with a new, uh, new version, for example, of, of uh, Playwright. Uh, the question, sorry, but the question was about uh, maintenance of this uh, solution. Yes, I always maintain it. I always try to update uh, uh, Selenium version. I always try to update uh, play, uh, Playwright version and so on. So uh, this uh, approach is uh, alive. So uh, I'm always try to take care about this. So don't worry. <laughs> uh okay so as you can see we uh, have all these uh, tests uh, and then we have video about this so let's try to run it and to see what is uh, what was happened so this solution gives us an opportunity to record the video uh, in some uh, in some uh, uh, cases it's very useful 
So you can see, this is the uh, solution for uh, Playwright, from Playwright. So the uh, quality is between uh, uh, 13, uh, 30 and uh, 50 persons. So to, uh, uh, to do this stuff, uh, to, to, to make videos smaller. So as you can see, 27 uh, seconds, it takes only uh, less than uh, half of megabyte. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, no, uh, it, it, this is the question. Is it uh, also compatible with Appium? No, because Playwright, uh, only uh, JavaScript solution uh, of play, uh, Playwright have some compatibility with uh, with Appium. I mean, not, not Appium, with uh, uh, mobile testing. But this, uh, this work is in progress. So for now, um, I think uh, uh, the I think there is uh, will not be supported. Uh, Playwright will not support. Uh, I mean, in, in the nearest future, the this solution. So unfortunately, it is not. Uh, also, uh, let's uh, see another approach. So as you can see, as, as, as you know, maybe you know, maybe no, the solenoid solution has its uh, higher, higher brother. I mean, uh, all the brother, it called uh, um, Aerocube Moon. Moon. Uh, it uses Kubernetes. So uh, now I'll show you uh, this solution here. It's more interesting and uh, we use it. Uh, I use it also on my uh, previous a couple of projects. So I need to stop the solenoid and run uh, uh sorry uh, just yeah. a reminder that we are remaining with 10 minutes ah, okay okay i uh, i need only five minutes for this so i will start uh oh no no, no not start i'll stop maybe mm -hmm. i'll start uh minikube here the uh, moon solution is installed to minikube it will take a little bit time to start, I hope all, all will be okay. Uh, so uh, I'll uh, the idea was to combine all this stuff, uh, just to give uh, uh, to test, uh, just to give testers uh, more uh, interesting things, more uh, flexibility maybe, uh, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, the main idea was to uh, show that I can run tests uh, with Selenite, for example. So this is the, that was the idea. Okay, it will start in a minute, maybe less. And I'll prepare all this stuff here. So we need to uh, now run with uh, WebSocket because we will use the approach or the solution for uh, for Moon and Playwright. So we can we should this do this do this and here here will be my Moon Aerocoop. Uh, but uh, to uh, for example for Selenoid to record the video it's uh, it's a good solution and it's stored on uh, where solenoid is installed uh, but for kubernetes we, we should use additional uh, uh, s3 bucket um, some uh, uh, s3 bucket uh, solution to store there uh, the recordings but my solution will give you the opportunity not to use it and to uh, to save your uh, videos uh, at the place where tests are running um, Okay, so let's do this. Then we'll go to uh, sorry, sorry for that. I didn't expect that it would it could ah yeah, minutes, okay. Let me rerun this. 
just a couple of minutes. Promise me it 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 works fine. It works worked fine. Uh, just a couple of minutes ago, so uh, I hope it will run. But uh, if I uh, couldn't uh, show this, uh, uh, we can. I can show you. I can uh, record the video, additional video to this, and we'll um, somewhere uh, post it somewhere. Okay, uh, let's wait a little bit. So this solution, uh, uh, at, okay, uh, while it's running, uh, I'll finish. Uh, and after that, I will show you the uh, the, the tests. Okay, uh, so this solution gives us more, uh, more interesting things. Uh, we can use other uh, other uh, instrument, other tool, uh, not not to migrate into that tool. Uh, we should uh, we can use only uh, this uh, the code as is, uh, and uh, to run uh, to run to run this code with uh, other tool. Uh, I don't want to uh, find difference between Selenium. Uh, playwright, Selenite, for example. I don't want to do this. I want to give you, uh, you this solution, uh, a good solution, very easy to use solution with your uh, favorite syntaxes, with your uh, with all other stuff. Uh, and you can see that uh, it uses all uh, all needed. Uh, it has all needed functionality. I mean, uh, it can use JavaScript easily. Even uh, you can now um, uh, you can you can use, uh, for example, uh, download file and so on. So this uh, this approach uh, this approach is um, is good is is working. Okay, let's run this and try again. If nothing happened, I will read another video and I hope it will work fine. Yeah, it should work fine. Why is not? Yeah. Okay. So this solution gives us more opportunity. We can run uh, more uh, tests, uh, more, more tests against more browsers. Even uh, with Cypress, for example, and with uh, it supports Cypress, it supports Playwright, and so on. So it's even uh, run. You can run on Safari browser, but it's not really Safari. It's a WebKit, but it's run as Safari. So let's run our test, and I'll sh uh, it will take a couple of minutes, and we will uh, uh, write a video here because in. Uh, general solution we cannot uh, uh, record the video of our test uh, because we should uh, we should uh, uh, store it on some s3 bucket <clears throat> storage but here we can do it and run tests so let's wait a little bit okay okay maybe you have some questions please ask them i can answer while uh, tests are running I mean, to the chat, question and answers. Okay. So let's see what is happening. Let's wait a little bit. Uh, it will take some time to, uh, to run tests. I mean, to uh, give us the instance and it gives us uh, the instance uh, dynamically. So uh, as you can see, we can open um, the DNC uh, uh, session to see uh, what is happening there. Now it will open the Chromium. Uh, Seri, just a reminder that we have just a minute left for the session. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we can run it on different approaches uh, to use it. And uh, uh, the plan, uh, the last uh, steps I want to share with you. What is the plans? Uh, I want to add a uh, har uh, file save. I want to record the tracing and I want to uh, manipulate with traffic. So 
that's all that I wanted to say you and uh, try it. Don't uh, don't be afraid to experiment uh, for experiments. So thank you all. Thanks, Eddie. Uh, Mick has, has said that you are a hero in the chat. And he has also thanks you that you are very cool on that. Uh, yeah. So, Sari, thanks for the wonderful session and sharing your experience with us. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Sari, for the wonderful session. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.